Okay guys, it has been the most craziest couple of weeks. It really has. I, I've i been super, super busy. I think in my one of my last videos I talked to you about an eye issue I was having. Um, so I've been diagnosed with dry eye. I've been on some sort of a steroids for my eye. My eye is a lot better. But my eye was so bad for the longest time that one eye was completely red, bloodshot. It got to the point where I couldn't even open it to see light and it would just run and run and run. So it was, it was just crazy. So anyways, it kind of helped me off from doing a little bit of a video because I felt like I looked really horrible in it. Not that I look great in general, but I look better when I have two normal, somewhat normal eyes like they are now. It's not 100% improved, but it's pretty good. But this eye drops, they put me on these steroid eye drops. They're like 200 and $45 for a little tube and my insurance I have a plan you know I have a, a, a drug plan that goes along with my Medicare picked up 60 some odd dollars of it I had to pay like 195 out of pocket I think that's like I think that's so insane it's is so insane and if I had time I would have looked at seeing it maybe if I could get it differently cheaper or whatever but I didn't have the real time for that so anyways I took that and started to feel better but prior to all that happened, or during that time frame, Jay's car decided to die. And it didn't really die, but we knew it needed a whole lot of work. It wouldn't get, go through inspection. It was really falling apart. And he needed a new car. He needed a better car. So we started on this journey to purchase a car. And I'm going to share some of those clips with you right now. So we are winning to off. Practice. Like a herd of turtles on what I hope is not a wild, what, what do you call it, a wild goose chase? Yep. Do you think it's going to be a wild goose chase? Well, is part of the equation, it just it might be. Is. Uh, yeah, I just can't might be. imagine that. That, that would be like going on a car hunt. And he has an appointment. Then after we made the appointment, the car disappeared from the dealer's website. Yeah. <laughs> so they know we're coming up there to discuss this particular car. However, it is now not on the dealer's website. That tells me something. We're gonna be a big bait and switch. Yep. And we walk away. <laughs> and we we walk away, and they go, "Oh, it's just got sold five minutes ago." And we'll say, "Well, how did you get it off your website over an hour ago?" <laughs> and why are we stupid enough to still go up there? Never know. You never know. So. We are not the proud owners of a new vehicle. Right, Annie? Yeah, but the vehicle was there. They held it for us, and that's why it wasn't on the website. Surprisingly, we have no experience. What was that? A Carfax? CarMax? Car, Car something? Max. So, it's the first time we've had an experience with them, and um, when you inquire, apparently they do take it off the website and put it on hold. My makeup is all over my mask. Um, so that was really kind of interesting, but we did not buy anything. The The one we looked at was a little bit above our budget, and CarMax said they don't negotiate. So we, we'll find something else? Yeah, we'll keep looking. And we didn't have to buy a car today. Nope. No. But I went to Macy's. That was the highlight. <laughs> I went to Macy's. I wanted a puffer coat. And I wanted to cut uh, one of those really collapsible. They're super warm, but they're 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 puffy, but they collapse way down, and they're just really comfortable driving. I always feel so constrained in my coat, heavy. I, I w I'd rather wear a cape because I like the looser feeling, and you know, not being zippered in like an Eskimo. So I got a coat, nice. and the nice thing is that I had a gift certificate from a year ago. <laughs> that had enough balance on it so I was able to pay the coat and I got a, a head muff and like an ear muff whatever you call them like so yeah now I'm all set for a winter adventure yeah. we'll have to go up north this weekend so we didn't buy a vehicle yesterday so we are here today Toyota yeah Toyota Nashua and we're looking at a um Jeep Grand Cherokee I thought it was an overland we're looking it's at, at the Toyota dealership, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're looking at a great, 
great great jeep okay grand cherokee, cherokee. All right. overland Over see i knew there was an overland yeah. see i knew that men anyways that's what we're doing on this new year's day we're off like a herd of turtles in <laughs> jay's new wheels what are we going to call this one i don't know we're going to have to come up with something a mini jalupa yeah. nah gonna it's the golf mobile maybe i don't know but we're off Oh my gosh. He had to stop and take a picture of his Jeep. <laughs> Holy moly. Over yonder behind those boats is the Seabrook power plant. You probably all heard about that. How's it riding, honey bun? Beautiful. You loving it? Yeah, it's really comfortable. I don't feel sore or tired, you know? Well, you're just sitting there. Why would you be sore or tired driving? <laughs> Talking about being comfortable, you know? Gotcha. Here we go. Hello, Maine. Just about. So pretty here, huh, hun? Yeah. I just like coming up here. Not as many people up here as there were everywhere else we went today. I know, huh? Perkins Cove. No people around but us. I know. The man That's behind me. Where's everybody? <laughs> and it seems so weird that we're here wearing masks. Had no issue parking. Social distancing means six feet apart. No stores are open. So yeah, so I'm not buying anything. Oh, look at the sign on the on the bathrooms. They painted masks on the people. Oh. So you'd know. Men's room. Women's room. Nobody's here. We are in Kennebunkport, Maine, and over there is President Bush's compound. And what a gorgeous, gorgeous setting this is. Gorgeous, gorgeous setting. So we really had a great time. We drove all around. We never got to Portland Head Light, but we did go to Nubble Light and then superimpose some pictures. We just had a wonderful day. He's super thrilled with his his uh, Jeep, his new Jeep, his car purchase. And uh, it's kind of funny, you know, we started out used. We started out wanting a certain budget. Then we started out wanting a little bit more because we wanted a better car, we wanted a newer car. And then we ended up getting brand spanking new 2021. Update on my nails and I started talking about this in a couple of videos ago the Sally Hansen and I know a lot of people are doing the press on nails and different nails and all that and I just really didn't want to go to the fake nail route yet and I didn't want to go back to the salon and spend for a fortune on that so I was really surprised how these have been holding up they have actually been amazing to the point where every time I go in a store I look at the colors just to see this is what I have on I don't know if it's going to pick up but these are four days old you know, it was four days ago when I did these. I just absolutely love how this has been holding up. It's been super, super amazing. Key thing for me is I just make sure my nails are not greasy. They're super cleaned. I've already done, you know, the nail polish remover, taken any soap on, and then I do step one, which is the color. I wait a good five minutes in between, put the second coat if I'm going to do a second coat. And the second coat doesn't have to be the same color. Like, for example, I have these glit glitter. That's the second coat on the glitter. Just put it right on top of the color and it works perfect and then you let it dry and then the next thing you know is you're going to put the top coat on which is the step number two and i have the clear gloss because i really like that and you can buy these on sale sometimes walgreens sometimes you buy one get the other half off whatever it is sometimes you have some really good sales on them so i've been playing around with my eyeshadow i've been trying to do different things but i have not wanting i don't want to buy any new palettes i'm going to use up the palettes i have that i do like and i have used for a long long time and it's wet and wild and this is the cream brulee so last time i tried to find the wet and wild cream brulee i could not find it 
anywhere. And I went into all the stores. I just could not find it anywhere. I could, and I, I found it in Amazon, and it was higher in price than I thought it should be for Wet n Wild. And then I ended up finding it at eBay. And at eBay, I got a really good deal. I think I got like three of them. This is the cream brulee, the Wet n Wild cream brulee, compared to the regular Wet n Wild brulee. But this is the regular Wet n Wild brulee. The number on this is C348A. And on the cream brulee, the number is C251B. The formula is different on the cream brulee than the brulee. So everyone says to me, Monica, what are you talking about? You can't find cream brulee. Well, they can find the brulee, but what they're not finding is the cream brulee. So the consistency is different. The design is different. I think the color is pretty close to being the same, although I think there's a slight variation in the color on the cream brulee. But I use this as my all over. And what really bothers me is some of the palettes I have in love, like for example, my Busy Art Liaison, this one I use a lot. They really don't have an all over color that I like. A lot of my palettes don't have an all over color. Like I want it to be really light and I want to go from my movable lid up to my brow bone. And I find that the lightest one in this is too dark. So I'm always finding that I have to have something extra. And I've tried, I've tried a number of different products, but I just keep coming back to my Wet n Wild cream brulee as my favorite wow. so, but the other thing that i'm like so excited about many of you probably know and you probably have watched peaches uh skincare lisa from peaches skincare she's right here on youtube she's she's absolutely amazing she really believes in natural skincare she really believes in taking care of yourself naturally and she has the most beautiful, thick, long, dark hair. She's letting it go gray. And she embraces the aging process. And I know I say anti-aging. Well, it's not so much that I'm against it. I just want to slow it down. Anyways, she embraces a very holistic, natural approach with clean products. But her product line is amazing. And when you think about if you want to jump on and do one skincare line, she's got you covered. One of the things that she's always talked about is that cleansers do matter and that's been something that I have never ever been on a bandwagon with never because I just figure you're gonna wash it right off and actually she says that in some of her videos the attitude of you're just gonna wash it off so I was like ah uh, yeah yeah I'll still go buy my cheap cleanser I'll go do some that I'm just gonna wash it off as long as it gets my face clean I couldn't have been more wrong <laughs> and now I will tell you I have not used any of her products long enough to give you a thorough a thorough look-see but I could not be more wrong with the attitude of how clean a cleanser gets your skin so I've been using the classic face cleanser the smell is beautiful I, I mean I think I would just like to use this all the time because I love the smell when I open it up I don't even know how to describe it but it is a it's not a perfumey it's not a it's a natural clean scent I just really really love um. it it does have like sicilic acid, lactic acid, glycolic acid. It has all sorts of different citrus, and that's the smell that I pick up on is the citrus. Anyways, we were talking back and forth, and she said, you know, I'll send you some of our products. She said, I don't want you to feel committed. I don't want you to, you know, I don't want you to feel like you have to, you know, talk about them, but I'll send them to you. And I said, okay, sure. But it was a little hesitant because she's very natural, very into clean, and I always think that you know, the clean beauty, natural beauty. Um, I always think it's more money and, you know, um, the, the affordability factor. And then I really started to think about it. If this product, if this cleanser, which is, I want to say maybe in low 30s, if this product lasts a long time, if I could get four months out of this bottle and what I'm going to do, I'm going to date it on the bottom when I started to use it, which was yesterday, the 24th, and I want to see how long it lasts me. It arrived this week, a whole package arrived this week, and I, I couldn't be more excited about it. I really, number one, I love supporting YouTubers that, you know, especially locally owned and especially women owned businesses, I, as much as I can. 
I love to support people like that. At this point in time, this would definitely be a purchase for me. The other thing that I used, after I cleansed, I did use her exfoliation. And the exfoliation is flawless exfoliation. So I use this, love it. It is, it is like when you put it on, it's dark and it has very tiny like little beads. Um, coffee-ish maybe, I don't know, but it's a gentle, gentle exfoliation that that you could use more than once a week. You can use this, I think, probably twice a day, but I'm not an expert at it, so I'm going to default to whatever Lisa's directions are on it. But I used it last night, I used it this morning, and I love how clean it made my face. And the other thing I have used is her ACV toner. This has vinegar in it. And you can, you can kind of smell a little bit of that citrus vinegar. When I first put this on my face, now they say put this on your face totally clean. Toner and I put it, you know, I'm working on my pores. My pores on my nose are horrible. So I've been working on that. And I put this all over my face. And I could feel initially a little bit of a tingly, but it dissipated really quick. So I thought this was really awesome. The other products that she sent me, and she sent me quite a few products complimentary she sent me her vitamin C and this is a fresh squeezed C I haven't used it yet and her classic moisturizer have not used that yet and her eye cream and she also sent a miracle mask so she sent me seven products and I think she has a few more but I think it might have been a retinol because I did say I use Retin-A. I'm not going to stop using Retin-A. So I am going to incorporate Lisa's skincare line. Now I am in the middle of uh, using a, a product that I'm going to finish out my review on that. But And then I'm going to start the whole complete line. And this is all I'm going to use other than my Retin-A. So I will definitely report back. That was said to be complimentary from Lisa. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to share with you is a product that I bought. So, it is cold. It is cold. Freezing. But I have my special hat, special scarf that was knitted specially for me from Frances. I think her knitting name is Nora Knits but I kind of know her from Happiness Sparkles. So you know what, I actually wear a lot of earmuffs. I have, as you saw in some of the car clips, I have these little black ones, this black one with little pearls in it that I really, really like. And this is what I wear. I wear this more than I would wear a knit hat, but there are times when you need a knit hat. So I absolutely love the fact that I have a royal blue knit hat, a scarf, and that I can wear it with my black puffer coat. I think it's awesome. That's sort of my update. My eye is doing better. I love the hats that Francis sent me. Absolutely love them. I have a pair of Wendy's earrings on. My Life with Wendy, who, who I have bought a number of earrings. Anyways, I hope you kind of enjoy this mishmash of chit chat, car buying, hat buying, earmuff buying, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. Please be sure to thumbs up the video, and if you are new here, please subscribe. I'll see you in my next video, guys.